Find the solution of the initial value problem. Y prime minus Y equals F of T. Y of zero equals zero, where F of T is equal to T on the interval from one to two, including one, and zero everywhere else. Now, we're gonna solve this using the Laplace transform. So we're gonna need two formulas. First, Laplace transform of a derivative. So if I have the Laplace transform of Y prime, it's gonna be equal to S times the Laplace transform of y minus y zero. Then we have the second shift formula. So that's gonna say we take f of t, multiply it by the unit step function ut, shift everything to the right by a, so we're gonna replace t with t minus a, take the Laplace transform. Then we're gonna get the Laplace transform of f of t, but we correct by multiplying by e to the minus s times a. Now, to solve the problem we have here, we're going to take the Laplace transform of both sides of our equation. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the Laplace transform of f of t. In this case, what I want to do is, since I'm just looking at our function on an interval, I want to rewrite this as our function times the difference of two shifted unit step functions. So the idea is, instead of focusing on the t, we just focus on the height one step function on this interval. So we want this function here, so it's gonna be the graph that we want. Okay, the height's gonna be one. I wanna rewrite this as a difference of two shifted unit step functions. So if I shift to the right by one, so it's gonna be u of t minus one, that's gonna be this function here. So we're close with this function because if you notice, we're gonna be zero leading up to one, and then we're gonna have one to the right of one. So the only thing is, we need to know how do we get zero when we're to the right of two. Well, to do that, we're just gonna subtract off the unit step function shifted by two. So then you notice what's gonna happen here. If we're between one and two, we're just gonna take off a zero, so it's not gonna do anything for the interval we're interested in. And then beyond two, we're subtracting off a one, which is gonna drive everything down to zero. So, that's our formula for the height one step function on the interval from one to two. Now, we just wanna multiply by t to recover our f of t. Okay, we apply the Laplace transform to f, so we have it written in this form, and now I can apply our second shift formula. Only catch, if I wanna use second shift formula, we have to write t as a function of t minus one. So we write t as t minus one plus one, write t as t minus two plus two for our other term. We take the Laplace transform now, what's gonna happen? Well, if we consider this as, say, t prime, it's gonna go to one over s squared. Then the one is gonna go to one over s, and our second shift formula says you have to correct by e to the minus s times a, and here a is one, so we correct by e to the minus s. For here, same idea, your correction is gonna be by e to the minus 2s. So when we take the difference here, that's gonna be the Laplace transform of f of t. Now that we have the Laplace transform of f of t, we can work as usual. So take the ODE from the initial value problem and apply the Laplace transform to both sides. So first step, Take the left-hand side, break it up using linearity. Then we can use the derivative rule to write Laplace transform of y prime as s times Laplace transform of y minus zero. Then on our left-hand side, we just have s minus one Laplace transform of y. On the right-hand side, we drop in our expression from the previous board and then divide by s minus one. So that isolates Laplace transform of y. Now all we need to do is figure out what's happening with this expression. So we're gonna work one over s minus one into each term, and then we're gonna need partial fractions. So we only need to do two partial fraction expansions here. We'll have one over s squared, s minus one. So you do your work. Okay, and that's gonna give you minus one over s squared, minus one over s, plus one over s minus one. On 
1 over s, s minus 1. We're going to get 1 over s minus 1 minus 1 over s. So we're going to take both of these, put these back into this expression here. What comes out? We're going to get okay, this term here for our Laplace transform of y. Now the idea is, okay, you'll note, we can identify each term in here as the Laplace transform of some f of t. The only catch is, how do we work with the exponential in front? Well, that's going to be using second shift formula backwards. So first step, you have to identify your shifts. Those come from the exponentials. So here, your a is equal to 1. Here, your a is equal to 2. Then what are we going to do? We're going to find the function that goes with each of these, multiply by the unit step function. Then we have to shift both of those parts to get to the function it came from. So the idea is, let's take a look. Minus 1 over s squared, OK? Well, we know 1 over s squared comes from the function t. But here, we have our shift equal to 1. So that function is going to go to okay, our unit step function on t minus 1. Then the 1 over s squared is going to go to t, which is going to go to t minus 1 when we shift. So we have a minus t minus 1 minus 2 over s. Okay, here, that's going to go to just minus 2. Then we shift, but since it's constant, shifting is not going to do anything. So you're just going to multiply by your unit shift function. So it'll be a u t minus 1 times a minus 2. Then for our last one, well, if I have 1 over s minus 1, okay, our rule there is 1 over s minus a. It's going to be the Laplace transform of e to the ta. So here, we're going to have, okay, our a here is going to be a 1. So we're going to have e to the t. Then we apply the shift. That's going to give me u, t minus 1, e, t minus 1. Okay, and then we put the 2 in. So that's going to be how we unwind this term. Over here, same exact idea, except now our shift is going to be by a 2. So you work that out. All right. Now, the idea is, okay, we were given a piecewise function to start out, so we should unwind this as a piecewise function for our final answer. Now, if you know it, what's going to happen here? Well, for ut minus 1, that's going to be 0 up to 1, and then we're going to have this function until I get to 2, and then this function here kicks in also. So for the region from 1 to 2, we're going to have this function. Okay, and then we can simplify this a little bit to clean it up. Then when I get to u of t minus 2, okay, this function's still in effect, and now this function's in effect. We have a minus sign out in front. So when we simplify everything together, we have 2 e to the t minus 1 minus 3 e to the t minus 2, and that's going to be for t greater than or equal to 2. Then you'll note we'll have 0 otherwise. Okay. So that's our answer. Of course, we should check that. So what do we need to check? Well, we're going to put it through the initial value problem again. So y of 0 equals 0. Well, if you note here, okay, the unit step function shifted by 1 or by 2, okay, they're going to be 0 up to 1, 0 up to 2. So y of 0 is definitely going to be 0 in this case. Then we want to see what happens when we take y prime minus y. We do that, so we're going to take the derivative. So this is a piecewise defined function, so we just take the derivative of each piece. We get these terms here. If we take y prime minus y, what's going to come out? Well, what's left is just going to be a t on the interval going from 1 to 2, including 1. So our work checks out.